ding, 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 ding. Yo, what up my people? It's your boy Diaso again. And um, of course, I'm a serial hit maker. Y'all know now. <laughs> I want to take you guys through the making of Umbrella by Nas, Nas Boy and, um, and Wandy Cole. So, I produced, mixed, and mastered the whole song in one session. Yeah. So first of all, I thought of the progression now. No man, no man, no man, no man. I think this is what I started with. So this is a synth bass from Gladiator. After that, I think, um, What I played next was this. So this is a bass too from, this is a bass lead from, from GMS. Then after that, I'm trying to get it right. The next thing I played was, um, my violins from Expand. Yep, yep, hey. So after that. Then, um, of course, the sugar in the music. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Um, yeah, after that, I played this. Let me open it. So, this is Indian Stars from Cock Tritone. Yeah, of course, I played. After that, then, 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 what, it, what else? What next? Like, what's next? What next? Uh, what's the next thing I did? So, I started having my drums, of course. Drums, of course. I think I started with this. So I added up another snare to it to 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 punch some part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much then my shakers. Uh-huh. But you don't decide. <laughs> So combining this and um, every other thing I played before. Solid, solid, solid. Then. So after this, I needed to make something, to do something very intentional with log drum. I'm trying to get the log drum. I bounce almost everything to wave. That's why it's difficult for me to Open up the sessions. Yeah, after this, love drum. So add up to the groove. Uh -huh. So let me open my violins too. March and one day go. <laughs> So from here now, I'm like, okay, 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 sounding good. Let's come in again. Let me close up all these ones. So the next thing I did was to get my kick, of course. Add it up to. Woo. So for my kick, 
I did saturation. This is um vintage drive from SSL. I had this on my kick to MV2 from Waves. Then of course my my EQ. So then um what else? What again did I do to to my kick? That's like pretty much all. So my shakers, another shaker again, another shaker. So the drums all together sounds like this. Let me unmute everything from the drums. Of course, I added some dynamics while it was going then. Yeah, that's everything for my drums. I manually designed my, my stuff here. So, okay, I still have more stuff from the drums here. So after all this, I added up another guitar too from Cork Triton. Let me, let me solo it, this. It's a classic guitar from Cork Triton. So I made this beat with Nasboy in the studio together. So, I mean, as, as everything was going, he was putting up the lines together, writing up everything. Then we started recording. So let me solo the vocals for you guys. Yep. So this is nice for his lead. Seconds I do. Hippa, hippa, hippa. Ten seconds I do pass. Waiting be your compass. Fly you around the world. So I'll show you guys a little on how I mixed the vocals. I'm not going to be so detailed about that. So I have my CLA7, CLA2A from Waves. I have my Surgical EQ from ProQ3, from Far Filter, sorry, that's ProQ3. I have my DESA from Waves. I have the C1 Compressor 2 from Waves. I have the C6 Sidechain EQ from Waves as well. I have the L1 Limiter as well from Waves. I have this plugin, it's a multi-band, botch, botch um, vocals from, from Waves as well. What I did here was take out some lows, increase the air, air a bit, add it up a little to the presence. So I have this, this is Abbey Road Saturator from Waves as well. This is another the ISA, you know, to control the sibilance, sibilance and all. This is R Compressor from Waves as well. This is Espresso. Yeah, that's all I used on the inside channel. Then I have my FX channel. I have this fresh air. I don't know if you guys can see clearly how, whatever, I just increased the mid and, and the high too. Then I sent it to the main channel as FX. So I have my, I have another aux channel here. I have this reverb from Waves on it. I have this delay from Waves. I have Pro C2 from Waves as well on the same channel. So what I did to this was to take out the lows from the reverb channel, the one having the delays and the Pro C2, Pro C2 compressor from Far Filter as well. I mean, just to get it sounding nice, take out the lows to avoid rumbles as well. So then on, um, on the individual channels here, I have my auto tune as well. Don't oh, mind me, I use auto tune six. Do I have the more like most recent version? Then I have this compressor from Waves as well. I use this because it adds up to the clarity in the vocals. It gives it this crisp like sound. It sounds extra clean, so I like it a lot. That's like everything I did on the vocals. Yeah, so. I sounded good. Hippa, hippa, hippa. Uh. Ten seconds I do pass. Waiting be your compass. Fly you around the world. So the delay is on that FX channel, the one having the reverb. So the tail doesn't jump into another line of any word he's pronounced, pronouncing because the words are choked. Yeah, so that's like pretty much everything I did on Umbrella then. I mean, we made a hit. <laughs> we made a hit record and it's 
twanging all over. So let me play everything all together. I know you've heard the song, but let me play everything all together again. Then of course, my tag. Y'all get very, very familiar with my tag because it's on a, on a lot of songs that people keep asking, yo, why don't you use your tag? So this is my tag, yeah? For emphasis. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah so that's me. Now boy mentioned my name on this song, like, I mean, four, four, four different times. So let me play everything. Ah, let me bring back this intro. What is it? What is it? Yeah. My tag. Ten seconds, I do pass. Waiting be a compass. Now you are around the world. Yeah, we recorded everything here, arranged the music. I mean, and. It's a jam. Yeah. When I'm with you, I'm my life. Never my life, my boo. Why does it all be like this? Oh. Yeah, another important part of the recording. How we, how we did the backups. So myself and Nas Boy, I sing too. I sing small too. I guess small boys. Myself and Nas Boy uh, did the backups. I am the life. But you still love me like this, oh. So we had like six takes of this. Of course, I did hard left, hard right. I, I left some, the center, some. I panned them, not so hard. So how I mixed the backup vocals too. This is my vintage vibe too from, um, from SSL. This is the doubler. This is doubler, vocal doubler from, from Waves. This is my surgical EQ2 from Pro Q3. So I took out the lows to about 192 hertz, I think, yeah. Then took out some frequencies that I didn't want. Then added up to the highest a little just to excite the vocals a little more. Then I still have my compressor. Uh, this is Abbey Roots compressor as well from, from Waves. So I tweaked it to the way I wanted, I wanted it to sound and it sounded good. So I have this limiter and in, an image as well from, from um, IK Multimedia, that's T-Rex. So they have one sweet preset spread out, that's what I used, but I still control the highest a bit so they don't slap. I have my DESA of course, and I think, I think the, the frequencies I control is about 6,000, 6.2K. Yeah, I controlled it around there. Then, of course, I set my threshold. Then the micro shift to add up body to the vocals from um, Sound Toys. Then I used two, re two different reverbs. I used the Room Works from Cubase. Then I used Valhalla. The vintage, uh, vintage vibe, Valhalla vintage vibe, sorry. So that's like pretty much everything I did. Then I sent fresh air to this channel to, to a level to excite it more. I mean, sounded good. I didn't do, I don't do past my power. <laughs> so that's it. Like this, oh. You can see you want be my boo. Ah, ah, eh, 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 eh. Sounded good. Like, I'll be an umbrella. Yeah, that's it. And I mean, made a hit. There, <laughs> so. That's there, so he's saying there. Oh, that's my name. You get So, that's everything. So, pretty much, that was how I produced Mixed and Mastered Umbrella by Nas Boy and Wandy Cool. Hope you all enjoyed it. Stay tuned and wait for more. Wait for more. We have pretty much more coming. Yeah, thank you. I love language, no money. She likes different currency. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything. When the cold vocals too. And everything was done. Yeah, thank you. Don't forget. 
follow me on all my socials. They are so bits everywhere. Yeah. God. Yep.